since the last morning, last session, and uh, we've decided to come down to a tank that we got shown on the first day we were here, but we haven't visited it since. We did see a cat come off it, a feral cat, and um, there's a pretty decent wallow in this corner closest to me. So we're just going to sit off here for an hour or two and just see what happens, if anything, and um, we'll take it from there. Been here for about an hour and uh, just been doing a bit of glassing. I've just noticed a pig coming towards us, so we're gonna have a go at him. I would have waited for that boar to come to the wallow that's just in this corner here but because John and I had to get the wind right we crossed the tank and we figured that he's going to cut our scent really quickly so I got into position so that uh, he wouldn't cut our scent first and pigs are you know when they're always moving they're always a bit of a challenge so uh, I took a shot obviously not as probably great a shot as I'd hoped it felt pretty good but um and I I kind of expected him to go down much sooner, but he hasn't, so I suspect I've probably hit him a bit far back. I don't know yet. I'm going to go and find the arrow and have a bit of a look at it, and then we'll follow him up and see if we can find him.
up to a, to a team at the moment, so just sort of take it fairly slow as we approach it, not make too many squeaks and rattles from the car, and we pull up you know, three or four hundred metres out, whatever sort of sort of suits, have a look what the wind's doing, you can normally tell by having a look out the back and seeing where the dust's coming from the wheels, yeah, go in and just sneak into each of these dams. Thanks for coming on this trip. Do you reckon it has? It's pretty good, good eh? One. Today's been a real roller coaster. Um, this morning John and I put a plan together to head, a, head down to a dam that was just behind camp that we hadn't hunted this week so far. And um, yeah, sure enough a boar walked in and uh, I put a, what I thought was a good shot on it but um, ended out wasn't so good. Um, it was a bit far back so we let him go, we kind of just let him lie up and, and then we went back to camp and had some breakfast and had to think about um, where possibly this pig would go because I'd cut him short of having a drink so um, I knew he'd be thirsty so we systematically started looking at the dams on the map and uh, this was the closest dam to where we were and um, yeah here we are we found this pig and i'm just so relieved you know he's he's got some great ivory and uh he's my best western boar to date and i'm just thankful that we found him uh, i've got my son here harry and john behind the camera and just great to be able to share these experiences with these guys and you know have these memories forever Days out west hunting wrapped up. Uh, another great trip. I uh, love hunting out here in summer. Bloody hot. Test you out that way and you know, do a bit of a bit of sitting off the tanks and wait for things to come in. You get to see all sorts of wildlife, birds, and goats, and pigs, and the like. And uh, did a little bit of stalking you know, through the wild trees. So, but yeah, no, it was a really good trip with, uh, with Danny and. Um, Harry, his son, was along as well for his first trip out west. So, yeah, uh, a lot of great experiences. Uh, 